Welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii. I'm Leah Kamana, and thanks for sticking with us. So the University of Hawaii at Manoa is celebrating the expansion of Hana Keaka, or Hawaiian theater, for the first time in Kennedy Theater history. Hawaiian language productions have been at the forefront of what they are doing. One of those productions is Ho'oi Lino, which de debuts on Friday. And joining me this morning is playwright and director Akea Kahikina. Good morning, Akea. Thanks for joining us. Aloha, Miss Leah Kamana. It's nice to see you. <laughs> it is great to see you too. I guess tell me a little bit about Ho'oi Lina and what people can expect if they want to come out and get a ticket and enjoy the show. Absolutely. I've been telling everyone it's a smorgasbord of Hawaiian comedy. So we got Hawaiian language, we got pigeon, we got Ola Mahu, and we got a little uh, Texan, Texan dialect going on. So you get a taste of everything that you could find here in Hawaii. Um, and it's also an opportunity for us to come back in person and laugh together. It's been uh, too long that we've been not in the theater. So. Yeah, it's a good old time. It's a hoot and a holler. <laughs> well, as, tell me a little bit about how amazing it is for you to be a part of, you know, bringing Hawaiian language to the forefront of theater at UH Manoa and what, what that means for you as a Hawaiian. Absolutely. So um, it's really a humbling opportunity and just thinking about how far we've come. Um, Lee, FYI, Lee and I are our classmates at Kamehameha. At the time that we were going to school, there really wasn't a strong push um, for Hawaiian. So to see it now, it's been, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, it's been some time. <laughs> We've been able to see how much growth there has been. Um, and through traditional Hawaiian theater, we see traditional stories about, you know, yesteryear and hi'iaka and kamupua'a. Now we get to see that expansion of what does Hawaiian language sound like today? What are those stories? What's happening with revitalization? How is that affecting us as Kanaka Maoli? And um, yeah, all sorts of really cool questions that are only um, pertinent to this time in 21st century. What's happening? And I want to document that with, with these kinds of stories. So things are happening. We're really, really happy. Look at you trying to date us over here. We aren't that I, old yet. Right. <laughs> Never tells her. Um, I really liked how you're just talking about, though, you know, when we think of Hawaiian language um, shows, you know, being on the stage, it is very much um, stories of yesteryear. And this yeah. is really an opportunity to bring it to the present. What would you say is the biggest difference between um, Hawaiian language then and Hawaiian language now. Absolutely. Um, one thing to think of is how much of English has been really put into Hawaiian. I think there are lots of really cool, fun, I mean, language evolves, right? I think the hard part about Hawaiian language is people think it's going to be in a box in Bishop Museum. It's kind of like archive. This is what Hawaiian language has been, and this is kind of the pure form. But I think like Kanaka Maoli, we're a living, breathing people. And our language is also a living, breathing entity too. So it's going to change, it's going to move. There's going to be some LOL action, some LMAO, you know, things um, that really make the language fun and vibrant. And I think there's there's a place for wherever the language has been and where it's now, it, it doesn't mean it's less, it just means that it's, it's growing. And we are constantly growing as people too. So. Um, yeah, it's really cool to see the growth being documented within the different years and for our next generations to look back and be like, oh, that's how they talked. Okay, got it. And I know Olalo Hawaii is a huge part of this play, but I know you're also incorporating Olalo Mahu, which not a lot of people yeah. might understand what that is. So if you could shed a little uh, light on, on what that is and how it's working its way into the show. Yeah, so the cast has been uh, coining it as Olala Mahu. Um, it's not necessarily like a census language, but what it is is a play language that um, our queer communities here, or our Mahu communities, uh, often play with language. Um, it sounds sort of like Pig Latin, um, and we have a history of that in Hawaiian language. We have Olalo Kake, uh, Olalo O Koleke, Olalo Nehiva. There are a lot of traditional play languages to keep what you're saying, not falling in the ears of people listening. They can't understand it. So you shift sounds, you shift letters, um, and that's really a prominent uh, language style within the Mahu community. And I wanted to put that on stage for people to hear, like, oh, 
you know, actually, I remember hearing people speak that, but I just didn't know what it was called. That's the Olalamahu, that just really smart, witty play language to keep some secrets here <laughs> and to keep, you know, some public away. If that makes sense. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Okay, I've loved learning all about the show. And we're going to have more information on the show and how you can get tickets on our website, KITV.com. But thank you, Akea. Thanks for joining us. Mahalo, Tom? All right, thanks. We'll take